I think I would like South Florida if I could get over two touchdowns, maybe live. I think they're still fighting. I think they can have some success on the ground. And I'm not sure where Tulsa's at mentally. <clears throat> they <clears throat> lost that game to Memphis, which knocked them out of bowl contention. They're three and seven. So, you know, another playing lowly South Florida, who is one of the worst secondaries in the country. But they look like they were playing for their interim coach last year. Was that just last week? Was that just a one week bump? Does Tulsa kind of take out their frustrations in their final home game, or are they flat? Uh, how healthy is Davis Brin? A lot of questions in this game. What do you see here? To me, there's one team that's playing hard, and there's one team that's not. I mean, South Florida may be one and nine on the season, but Tulsa is tanking. Uh, they, I mean, they've just won one game in their last seven. They haven't covered since September. And Tulsa's off a loss in Memphis where the game was stopped multiple times because of on-field fighting. I don't know where the headspace is on this team. And you look at the Bulls, I mean, they're going to turn to Byron Brown to start. He has just five passing attempts this season. He's a three-star pro-style quarterback. He had offers from ODU, UCF, Georgia State. Not really sure what we're getting at the quarterback position from South Florida. He did lead the Bulls to a TD on the last drive, which I think is why you saw some steam on the Bulls from 14 early in the week on this point spread. South Florida is you know, generally a run team, 56% rush rate. They have quality success rate. They're led by Brian Batie. And Tulsa's outside the mid-FBS and line yards and stuff, right? So, you know, kind of uh, there's work here for South Florida. I think that they're going to be able to push the ball. The question is, will Davis Brin even play? Uh, he he, got, comes he up, got benched. I mean, but their offensive line was benched dreadful, too. Benched, ineffectiveness, shoulder injury. Uh, we're not sure what's going on there, but Braylon Back Braxton comes in. He's been terrible. Like, he has not contributed in the ground like I thought he could, and he's only completing half of his passes the last two games. It's just been a non-factor. So I make this game 11. South Florida is the only team out of this game that's giving effort in the last couple of weeks. Maybe it is the interim. Maybe these kids are playing for pride. They're the only ones giving effort. They covered Houston and Cincy in the, within the last five games. It's going to be, I, I know. They should have covered against UCF. They kicked the damn field goal. Yeah. So it's going to be 31 degrees at Skelly Field here in town. I, I know people think that's really cold for Florida people, but at the same time, I've been working all day with my window open. I don't think it's that cold. So uh, I think it's going to be a slow start, but at the same time, I think South Florida is the only one you can play in this game because they're the only one that's trying lately. 